Welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of Lost Sphere. In the last episode, we struggle through um, a battle with a what they call the Lost Nightmare. I forget what it was called, but yes, now we get to move forward with the story. Huh? It's that fader again. Stubborn, isn't he? I'll give him a good thrashing. That will send him on his way. Bon, wait. That fader. I thought its aura was familiar, but... I finally understand now. It's a borrow. Analyzing. Analysis. Analysis complete. There is a 90%. Probability that the fader in question is Obaro. No wonder he seems so desperate to get our attention. Could it really be Obaro? If it's true, what do we do now? Do we have memories to bring him back? We should have plenty of memories of him. They're inside all of us. We traveled so far and overcame so much together. I used to see Obaro in my dreams, so I knew him when he was in his own plated era, too. We have good memories, bad memories, all different kinds. That should be enough. Yes, and besides, if it's not enough, we're out of options. All right, Kanata. Draw the memories from us. Like you've done before. all these I'm sure I can do it Obaro I'm going to return you to your original form now uh, fader memory yeah sure Ooh, back to my old self I was at my wits end I couldn't speak couldn't pass on my thoughts I had nearly given up I'm glad. I should have noticed earlier. What happened anyway? I have no idea. By the time I became aware, I was already in that form. It can only be the work of Krom. No one but Krom would do this kind of thing. In any case, we're all back together now. We've got to find a way out of this world if we're going to stop Krom. There must be some way. Let's look around. Yeah, that's right. Even that obnoxious optimism of yours turned into a good tray. Hey! <laughs> hey! And Obaro's back. He wasn't gone for very long. Put him back in the party then. Who did we... Oh yeah, he's gonna take Lu 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 Lumina's spot. Here you go! Excuse me. I don't think I had taken anything off of him. He had a night coat. Really? Well then, rare mail for you for now. And do we have anything better to give him here? I guess not. It didn't take anything away that... Um, where do we go to find out where we're supposed to go? No one knows. Oh, we can call the vocal soup now. That's true. They did mention that in the last one. Uh, we'll save. Um, this is where we played the other day, was it not? The 24th? 23rd. Did I play two? Oh, because I finished at like over 12. Really? I played that long. Um, Alright, let's just do over here, I guess. I don't know that it matters all. I'm just going to do it on a couple different spots here that I can move around. I'm, I'm worried about saving on my old spots. I don't know why. It's not like I'll ever really go back to those older saves, but it's not like I'm running out of memory. But the people in this game are. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Uh, probably something here. I don't know who would be able to unlock it. Oh, Obaro might remember something. Didn't we meet Obaro in this place? Uh, there shouldn't be any monsters. <laughs> hey, did you hear that? It sounds like a little girl crying. 
All right, so we had been here, but uh, seems like we needed to get Obaro back in the party to uh, unlock this cutscene. Wait, wasn't there something? Am I thinking of another game? Wasn't there like a secret path through the forest to the left here at one point? Well, there's a little girl. Who are you? Huh? I feel like I've seen this girl somewhere before. What's wrong? Are, are you alone? Um, my beautiful pendant, it, it got broke. Would you mind letting me see? Maybe I can fix it for you. Here. Those red eyes, she seems dangerous. This pendant. Huh? I'm sure I've seen it before. It looks so familiar. Yeah, the same as my pendant. But how could that be? Did your mom make your pendant herself? It's one of a kind. Yeah, she did. It's the kind where two pieces fit together to make one pendant. My mom is supposed to have the other half. Hey, where'd you get this pendant anyway? Well, um, Elsh gave it to me. Elsh? That's my mom's name. You mean Kanata's mother's here? <laughs> well, if Kanata's mother was lost, and if this is where lost people wind up, then there's a strong possibility. Fate is a powerful thing. My mom, I mean, Elsh. Where is she right now? Jeez, Elsh she is. Will she explain it? What's gonna go happen here? Oh. My mom is under this tree, sleeping, huh? Thank you, Memoria. Thank you for giving me my mom such a beautiful resting place. Elsh and I lived on this hill together. It was really, really nice to me. I was so happy being with her. Elsh said this hill was special to her. Especially here. It was her favorite spot. So that's why... That's why I buried her under this tree. I want her to always be in her special place. Thank you. I'm sure she's very happy here. Really? I sure hope so. <laughs> Anata... I know how you must feel, but... We're out of time. We should go. He needs time to grieve. Don't you get it? I know how much Vaughn hated to have to say that, but we do need to keep moving. We have to make sure more tragedies like this don't happen. Hey, don't give me too much credit. I just wanted to get back to the real world and kick Crom's butt as soon as possible. Real world? I didn't know what she meant, but I think Elsh said something about that. About the real world and how she found the path. A path? She found a path? So then th there is a way to get out of this world. But Kaneda, your mother died and we have no way of learning the details. Can't we, you know... Like we did when we saved Kaneda, can't we dive into his mother's memories? I don't see how. At that time, we were able to connect with Kanata's consciousness because we had the psychic powers of the Emperor to help. No, that's not a bad idea at all. Even if we can't dive into her memories, maybe we can at least listen to them. What do you mean? We can use a fader. A fader? You mean one of those things that wander around the world? Krom said it when he was pretending to be Obaro. He said faders have a pitiful existence. They wander around seeking memories, trying desperately to find affinity with others. So how's that going to help? Faders don't remember their own original forms from before they were lost. That's why I bet they can fuse with other people's memories. You're not thinking about having a fader fuse with Elsha's memory, are you? So your plan is to bring back your mother's using a fader as a vessel? What? 
bring him back, I'll be able to see Elsh again. I'll try, for your sake too, Memoria. Really? Wow, I wanted to see Elsh again so bad. Well, I'll need your help. I want you to tell me all you can remember about my mom, about Elsh, as much as you can possibly re remember. I've got lots of memories for her on the hill. Let's go there. What really bugs me about this game is that they just make shit up as they go. I mean, most stories are kind of that way, but hey, you know, all of a sudden, let's just grab a, a fader and use it as a vessel to connect to another memory, to the consciousness of another memory. Like, what? Like, I get it, like, but you can invent, like, these fantasy, like, systems where you can do this these kinds of things, but if you're always using them as a Hey, let's try this thing out of nowhere. It's they're all this ex machina or whatever. But it's kind of annoying that there's it never feels like there's any kind of link to anything. They're just made up on the spot every single time, so there's no like tension. That's Memoria and Elsha's diary. We wrote about what we did today and what we are planning for tomorrow. We wrote about many things in there. It made me so happy when I wrote what I wanted to eat and Elsh made it for me the next day. When Elsh wrote about wanting my help, I of course helped. Any thing I write in it now never comes true anymore. But this diary is still my most prized possession. It's filled with the thoughts and memories of Elsh. Unrequited memory. I want as many as possible. Is there anything else I can turn into memories? How about this treasure chest? Oh. The marks on the pillar? I'll use it to keep track of how tall I was growing. I put my back to the pillar and she'd make a mark above my head. She'd get angry if I tried to tiptoe. She was a stickler for accurate records. The marks are rather close to each other. Not much growth if you ask me. Oh! No, now I sound like Elsh. Elsh always had a good laugh because of this. This takes me back though. That smile now feels a bit heavy. I think Elsh was looking forward to seeing me grow up. Another one. I want as many as possible. Is there anything else I can turn into memories? You like cooking? I already did this one. Ah, uh, do we really need to do this again? Kinda lame that. Alright, yes, yes. The bed maybe? The fire. I already did the chest, it's locked. Oh, okay. Well, maybe there's something else outside. Well, I mean there's always her favorite spot, obviously. What was her favorite spot? There you go. Well, this is her favorite tree, I guess. See how tall this tree is? I climbed to the top once, but I was so scared to come down. When she heard me crying, Elsh came to my rescue. Elsh was really nice, but she'd get so angry. I was sad when she got angry, but Elsh told me this. Elsh gets angry because she loves me. I was so happy when I heard that. This tree holds memories of myself and Elsh on the hill. I thought this place would allow Elsh to rest in peace. I want as many as possible. Is there anything else I can turn into memories? Anything. Special spot, special rock. There must be something. Broken pot. I mean, I can go back down. I guess I'll go down. Well... No, that's just the same tree, I think. It's odd that her favorite spot's not a thing now. Well, maybe there's a spot down here that we haven't really explored. Well, here's a broken pot. Eh, another one. Where would we find another memory of Elsh? Oh. When Elsh would leave, I sat on that rock until she came home. See that broken toy over there? I used to play with that while waiting. Elsh was not really great with her hands. Her pendant was a bit rugged, remember? 
that toy was a bit rattly and, and would always break. But I was happy because she tried so hard for me. I played with this for the longest time. With this many memories, I'm sure I can do it. What pretty lights! Look how many! I hope this is enough. I won't know until I try, but... It was enough to bring back a borrow, so I think it'll be fine. In that case, let's let's go capture a fader! I hope I... I hoped I'd never have to return to that valley. The nightmare of being a fader is still like a thorn piercing my brain. Memory. A memoria. I want you to wait here. I promise we'll be back soon. Um, Kanata. Here's the key to the box that Elsh kept. I want you to have it. Okay, I'll wait here. Hurry up, okay? That's probably... I'm assuming... It is Elsh's sword. Wow, nice. Thank you. Is it going to be better than Sinclair's health hilt? Um, attribute heir, Messier's blade engraved with Elsh, the name of Kanata's mother. Okay. Um, I mean, it's probably better. I wish it would show you the default freaking value of the swords, too. It's impossible to know if it's better or not, but right now it's not. And we'll go down and try and go find the freaking fader. We went to that crystal lake a few episodes ago. Ugh. A few episodes ago we went to, uh, yeah. To this place here. Uh, he said that we have to return to the valley. Oops. Wait, there's a way to have them talk to me, isn't there? No, 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 I don't want to do that. Oops. Oops, I didn't need to do that either. Let's aim for an easy to catch fader. Was there a dead end we could use? Ah, uh, that's not what I meant to do either. Let's look for Fader first. Speaking as someone who was very recently a Fader himself, I have mixed feelings. I don't want to remember what it was like. The Fader by the entrance is difficult to catch. Let's forget about that one. There must be other Faders around. Let's perform a thorough search. What did it feel like to be a Fader? I was aware of myself, but I couldn't speak and it was hard to move around. Let's aim for an easy... Okay. Well, I'm not really sure where we'll find a fader, but there might be something here in the uh, crystal area thing. And I feel like if we just step inside, there's probably going to be a cutscene. Is there a cutscene? Ah, uh, it doesn't seem to be. Can we capture one of these guys? I mean, I don't know if this is going to work. We'll fight just one of them. First off, uh... We got a preemptive strike here, so... A holy force on the guy in the back. And, uh, there we go. Momentum kill, first hit. I mean, it's kind of a decent place to gain levels, really, and I'll keep that on, thank you. And we did not capture them. All right, so then there was no cutscene, so odds are we didn't actually have to come here. I mean, Obaro did talk about a valley, so I think I recall an area to the west of here. And that's the thing, it's been so freaking long that it's really hard to remember all the areas. That's why I was talking about in the last episode, that, or the one before that, I might end up whipping out a a guide to just finish the game a little bit, so... Seems like this would be a valley. Fade Gourd. It's valley-ish. Fate, us together. Faded by some too. 45 equipment. There you go. Uh, we can do the uh, rare mail. Yeah, we're gonna upgrade that for sure. I don't know if brown equipment's any good, but now that's 105.57. That is 105.55, and it's only upgraded by four. And uh, what about Elsha's sword? Ah, oh, we don't have any of the cheap stuff. Let's go buy some of the cheap stuff. Do we have any of the cheap stuff? Red Sprit Knight, Indigo, Brown, nah, 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 Gold. 
black. How much is that? 34. That's basically all of our money. But maybe I'll just upgrade it by four. That's about a quarter, I guess. So let's buy that. I bought a lot of rations, didn't I? I used a lot of them in the last... Ether. Let's do that for now. Small potions. I have a lot. Might need a few of these. Phoenix tears we've got. Spring water. Panacea. I did use a few. Medkit. We still have quite a few, but there's no rations, eh? Well, that's unfortunate. I really did think that uh, rations would be good. Now, here's the thing. This is a level 6 sword. And we can bring it up even higher. Wow. With expensive stuff. Or I can upgrade Elsha's weapon here. That's this one. What is... Uh, she's got the Z-Sword. That's pretty much maxed out. That's nice. Could always just spend money on upgrading this one as high as I can. And then spending money on other stuff instead. I don't know, guys. I really don't know. I feel like Elsha's sword should be better than Sinclair's hilt. What do you guys think? I'll have to look it up. But I think they're all pretty similar. So instead, you know, let's take this rare and just... How good is this? It's not that big of an upgrade. Oh, I might end up regretting not doing anything. Oh! Can we corner one? <laughs> Preemptive strike, eh? Yeah, let's do something interesting here. Uh, I can probably go over here and get all of them. Like this. Uh, spark tier here. Let's go over here. See if we can hit multiple. Well, three is good enough for me. Wait, yeah, let's do a quake. Fire would have been smarter. Oh, yes. actually, it would be quite, quite a bit smarter because the instant death is mine. Okay. Oh, there you go. Oh. Siren Bolt, let's just finish him off. And hopefully he'll fall asleep so he loses his turn. He's not dead either. Okay. We'll wait a little bit. I just want him to die. There you go. Bit of XP, bit of memories, bit of everything. Yeah, I'll leave that on. Does it matter? To me, that seems like this would be a valley. I remember exploring this place well enough. I don't know if there's a corner anywhere. But I feel like... It's if we're gonna go look for a valley, I feel like this place would be it. Do we know what we're doing? I sure don't. These are killing a thing in like one shot now. Oh, well, there you go. First, we need to take it down. Then we can capture it while it's still alive. Take it down, huh? Piece of cake. Here goes. It's kind of sad, really. We're like... Killing these things that really... Just want to be remembered. We're not killing this one in particular, but... I think the, the thing is really that... Oh, there you go. Do we really have... Do we have to go through the fight, really? And now it's following us? We got it before it turned into a memory. That should work. So we need to bring it to the hill, right? Yeah, if I'm gonna restore my mom, that tree is the best place. The side memoria is waiting for us there. Back to the hill then, let's go. And I have to actually walk there? Lame. Since we found the spot, hopefully we can get to... I hope I can remember how to get there. I remember this being a little bit of a maze. It's not that bad, I guess, but... I think this was the spot here. Then we go down. 
I just don't remember. There's one to the left here, but I think there's one below. Is that's the one here is the one I took, wasn't it? Then we went up. Yeah, that's the fishing spot I used. And here we go. Okay, perfect. Let's try and pay attention to the amount of money that I make uh, fighting monsters. I wonder if I max out my money pretty quickly if I could buy a bunch of upgrades for all my weapons and stuff. Sure hope nothing happened to Memoria. Oh, okay. Seems like no. You're back. I'm so glad. I was a good girl while you were away, you know. Okay, should we head up the hill together? Yeah. I wonder if she used to wait for my mom just like that. Yeah, she did. She said it in the story. Were you not listening? How are we going to restore your mom if you can't remember the details? Oh my god. Vader is all ready for you. Now you need to fuse its empty mind with all the memories we've gathered. There should be a piece of cake, you know? It's... There's a... There's a... You, there's a manual in your back pocket on how to do all these very elaborate spells. You're a moon child. This is a uh, inborn. Inanna, go ahead whenever you're ready. I can't believe I get to see Elsh again. I'll just grab this first. I don't trust that I can really restore him. Okay, I'm starting. Make the strongest wish you can from the bottom of your heart, okay, Memoria? Jeez, I wonder which one I'm supposed to use. I'm so happy. I want to see you again. I'm sorry, Memoria. I never wanted to leave you all alone like that. Um, I can feel war your warmth, Memoria. It's so good to feel it once again. Mom! Kanata? Yeah, yeah. You're Kanata. I can't believe it's how handsome you are. I'm so happy. Mom, finally. I'm, I'm so happy, I can't even talk. <laughs> you haven't changed at all. You're still my sweet, gentle Kanata. But why am I... Oh, it must be because you and your power. Huh? But how did you... Well, I did raise you after all. I always knew you had a special gift. Kanata. Kanata. <laughs> I have to tell you something. I wasn't able to tell you when I was alive, but it's very, very important. It's the reason that you have this strange power. Only I know the truth. I was really sick as a baby, and I have been weak ever since. The doctor told me to give up on having a child, but I still long to have a family of my own. I prayed to that tree to grant me a warm and loving family someday. I'll never forget how beautiful the moon was on that day. I was on this hill praying as usual when a mysterious shadow appeared. It told me my wish would be granted if I went to Hugebury's hill. It's a bit uncharacteristic of me now that I think about it. I should have shouldn't have been scared. I should have been scared, but I was so excited to have my prayer finally answered. It wasn't easy, but my, I made my way to Hugebury's hill. That's when the beloved moon beamed a stream of light. On its a shining life came flowing down. I didn't blink for a second and took the baby wrapped in light into my arms. As it was then I heard a whisper. I shall grant your wish because of your adamant hopes. This child of hope shall be bestowed upon onto you. I pray he leads to a bright future. This baby was given to me by the moon and I raised him as my own. That was you, Kanata. Mom, why did you disappear? As you started to grow, I began to notice the power you had. I don't think you were aware of it. It came out when you were sleeping, times like that. At first I was, I was shocked, but 
You were given to me by the moon, so I realize you must be special. But I never thought your power would make me lost. Um, you were lost because of me? So hard. So I'm so sorry. P please forgive me. Well, I say lost, but you actually saved me. If I had been lost like most people, it would have been the end for me. But that wasn't the case. I think you somehow sensed I was in danger and sent me away to this world. So you have nothing to worry about, be sorry about. I didn't know why you were sent to this world, but if what else says it's true, maybe Kanata sensed sense danger and sent us here when Krom tried to make us disappear. That's not a bad guess, Lumina. It would explain why we've ended up in the final destination of the Lost. Kanata, you are the Moon's Herald, here to communicate its message to mortal minds. I believe in mankind. That's what the Moon is saying, at least. That's what I think it's saying. Me? The Moon's Herald? But what am I supposed to do? I don't even know how to get back to our own world. Don't despair. I know a way. It's called the Lunar Pass. Will it take us home, this Lunar Pass? To the east of here is a lake. From that lake, a light shines so fiercely that it creates a path. This path made of luminous energy, it's your way ho- oh. Elsh! She's- she's disappearing! What's going on? I've run out of time. What? What do you mean, Mom? What's happening to you? Hush now, child. I have to tell you one more thing before I disappear. If one is restored from the dead, their memories don't stick with them for long. And sorrowful though it may be, the dead may return only once. That's only what I can deduce, having seen your power unfold without your knowledge, but I do think I'm right. No, no. It's not true. It can't be. That would mean you... You can't go, Elsha. Don't leave me all alone again. I'm so sorry to hurt you again, dear Memoria. I don't know how I can came to be that you were born, but maybe it's because I prayed to that tree every day. You are my wish come true. I will always treasure our time together. Thank you, Memoria. Elsh? Goodbye, my child. My sweet Kanata. But you can't go. We just finally got to see each other again. You gave me so much. It's a cruel fate that I gave you so much sadness in return. Forgive me. But I still have so much to ask you. I want to tell you about my adventures, my friends. I want you to see how much I've grown. It's not fair. <laughs> you never asked for me to me for anything when you were little. Now here you are asking for the first time and I have to say no to my dear son. Mom, I... At long last, I got to see you in Mem Memoria again. I've never been happier. I love you, my son. I love you, Mom. Bye. Memoria. Thank you, Lumina. That's all right. I'll be okay. Janata, wasn't it wonderful to see Elsh again? Elsh looked so happy, and I'm happy too. I'm re really happy. Happy as could be. But maybe a little sad too. Memoria, don't you come with... Why don't you come with us back to our world? She could come with us, right, everybody? Uh huh. Elder Fela enjoys the company of children, and as Memoria is practically Kanata's sister, I'm sure the Elder would love to take care of her. Whatever we do, we can't just leave her here. We couldn't live with ourselves. Besides, Kanata wouldn't let us anyway. I don't see any reason why she can't come with us. Thank you, all of you. You make me so happy. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's time to move on. We need to start looking for this looter pass. There you go, folks. Got ourselves a new party member. We can't uh, put her in the active party, but she'll, she's still an active party member, right? Right? That's how it works. Analyzing local topography. Large energy reserve detected to the east. That must be the Lunar Pass. Elsh did mention something about a lake. Time of the essence, friends. We must make haste. 
Memoria, you're coming with us, right? Goodbye, Elsh. Well, we've got the moon child and we got a freaking devil child, but there you go. We've made a little bit of progress and it has been, uh, you know, for 30 minutes. So we will have to end this episode here. As always, I'm your host, Mr. Gazillion. Thank you so much for watching and liking and subscribing. And let, me, let me know what you think of my return to the Lost Sphere. Hopefully we can actually complete this series and hopefully I don't have too much, too long to go on it. I'm just kind of playing it while I uh, level up my characters in Octopath Traveler. And uh, yeah, so anyways, thank you very much for watching, liking, subscribing. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.